Hi folks, this is René Molenaar for GNS 3 Volt, and I want to show you how to solve the ACL Selective IP Options Drop Lab. So, um, I only have two routers here, and it's not a very difficult topic, but this is one of those little things you need to know if you're going to do your CCIE, and it might be useful sometimes in the real world as well. Um, because the thing is like, if you, you would look at an IP packet, you might notice that um, there's a field for options. And for example, there's an option so you can include a timestamp or you can do loose source routing, stuff like that. And whenever your router receives an IP packet with an option in it, it will have to process switch it. And if you receive a lot of those packets, you might see that your CPU is going um, up. So it could be a good idea to drop these kind of packets, and that's what we are going to do in this lab. So I'm going to configure router trash to drop the uh, IP packets with timestamp and loose source option. So IP access list extended, and let's call it IP option. And what I'm going to do is say deny IP any any. And then we can pick option, option, there we go. And you can see that there is a big list with options. And I'm going to block this one, timestamp. And I'm going to block this one, loose source route, LSR. There we go. And that's all. And of course, we need to make sure that we have a permit IP any any. Let's go to the interface, activate it. So IP option inbound. So this is our access list. Drop the timestamp stuff, drop the LSR stuff, and permit everything else. So let's do a ping and see if this is working or not. So show IP interface brief. Let's send a ping to 12.1. And you can see that it's working because it matches this statement over here. Now let's see if we can make it drop um, on one of these two lines that I have. So let's do a ping. IP 12.1 repeat this is all good I don't care about the size I do care about the extended comments not about the source I don't care about the toss byte I don't care about fragmentation I don't care about validation pattern all good ah and here you can choose for timestamp so let's do timestamp and 9 timestamps that's all good and let's just do it like this there we go so you can see that it's already being blocked it says unreachable received packet has options and if you go to the access list here you can see that it matches on the first statement there we go so that's it this is how you can create an access list that will drop any option that you have in your IP packet. Uh, and I also showed you how you can test this by using the ping command. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, make sure to check out some of my other labs. And if not, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.